Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I do love doing my live video stream. It has its fair share of ups and downs, but you're welcome to stop by to say hello. I'm at live.perillo.com, as you see in just about every one of the videos that we record. You see I'm pointing down at that URL, which unfortunately is not clickable, but you know where to find me. Just Google for Chris. I'm the first one there. So uh, during the course of the average weekday, we usually record videos, and sometimes I kind of run short on topics to talk about. So uh, when I kind of threw the idea out there, I'm like, does anybody have uh, some topics? And Fireworks, the guy who's been helping me uh, moderate and clean up iPhone.LockerGnome.com, which is a website that intends on well, eventually becoming kind of a funnel point of voting on apps and just watching for interesting iPhone news and views as it comes in throughout the day. We've talked about it before, including the service that makes that possible. So Fireworks uh, recommended that I take a look at AuthorStream.com. Author, as in like a book author. Uh, stream, as in live video streaming. Uh, AuthorStream.com. And I looked at it, and you know, right up front it says, Present and Share PowerPoint. And I thought, Okay, that's interesting, I, I guess, because we've talked about how Google Docs does PowerPoint presentations, but here is what really caught my eye. They've got you know these bullet points right up front. This is embed in blogs and networks, so you can upload your PowerPoint presentation and then embed it somewhere else. You can also, this is, this is where it gets cool, PowerPoint to iPod or YouTube, or presentation RSS for iTunes. So you can not just syndicate your PowerPoint presentations, but have them converted, instantaneously converted, or virtually instantaneously, for an iPod, or an iPhone, or YouTube. Of course, uh, he noted as well, Fireworks, that's his nickname, that's not his real name, his real name is Justin, and I appreciate the, the lead on this service, Justin. Um, he noted that you have to have timings set in your PowerPoint presentation in order for this to kind of work. So, you know, based on the conversion to iPod and YouTube, I am so willing to recommend the service. And it is, at least as far as they claim, free. So yes, it is a little better than Google Docs in that capacity. I, I do like Google Docs and the fact that you can uh, v view and edit and, you know, share PowerPoint presentations. Uh, but this service kind of kicks it up a notch, I would say. Authorstream. Dot com. So if you're looking for inspiration, uh, you can of course browse. Uh, they've got a tag cloud as well. You can you view featured audio, feature animated, latest uploads, most rated, most viewed, and they have uh, separate categories as well. And I think the reason why this is interesting to me, uh, because I had uh, received over the course of my life uh, gigabytes of, I was trying to think of a big... I was going to say terabytes, but that would probably be exaggerating. Gigabytes is not exaggerating. Gigabytes of PowerPoint presentations. Someone will make a PowerPoint presentation, squeezing pictures in there and then sending it off. And then all of a sudden I'll have this like 84 megabyte attachment and email going, WTF, dude, I, I really didn't need this, right? People, stop sending large attachments. That's large. Anything like over five megs is large. Use an upload service. So instead of emailing a PowerPoint presentation to someone if you don't need to collaborate with them, why not use AuthorStream? If you do need to collaborate with them on uh, something like that, I would recommend either using something like Google Docs, which I'm pointing at the screen for, but obviously that's not Google Docs, or possibly even MindMeister. If you've never heard of MindMeister before, it is, I, I think we've talked about it, it is a uh, like mind mapping based on the web and it's really cool. In fact, um, the most creative use I've ever seen of a mind map, uh, the first mind map uh, a friend of mine created was a, a mind map on uh, what to do with this zit that was on her chin. And she had, she had mind mapped this whole schemata of possibilities and what would happen and outcomes and pictures. And it was the first mind map that uh, she had ever created. And it was the most creative use of a mind map that I'd ever seen. But some people, uh, you know, would do themselves a favor by using a mind map to present information rather than a presentation, like a PowerPoint presentation. A presentation like that is more linear. A mind map is, well, literally all over the map. So anyway, uh, just wanted to pass that along. Thanks again, 
Fireworks uh, for recommending Author Stream. I'm always looking for unique services like this, if only to keep in my own mind. I really don't keep bookmarks on my computer. Uh, I'll usually use Google, or I will turn to the community, the greater community at YouTube, or those who hang out in the chat room at live.perillo.com, and that's where you can stop by uh, to say hello. We're typically talking tech, software, hardware, internet stuff, wacky fun, like uh, funny friends of mine who make mind maps of things that you never thought could be mind map. Funniest mind map I'd ever seen in my entire life, I kid you not. Anyway, <clears throat> you have my email address and you also have the, the website where you can stop by to say hello and to watch this live video feed. The back of my head, freshly cut, look at that. That's what $12 will buy ya. The gel, of course, did not cost $12. I, it's not really gel, it's my own special concoction. Anyway, I'm typically streaming live video 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.